so good morning I should say because it's about two three o'clock in the morning and um, as you can see hopefully you can make out in the camera the Milky Way core is out um, I'm at Arbroath Cliffs which is just well Arbroath beside Dundee uh, we've got some lo loads of nice sea stacks just along the cliff face so it makes for a good foreground and it's the only really place along the east coast that's near me that's got good foreground for the Milky Way uh, I do want to get up north for the Milky Way, but obviously I can't just now because uh, travel restrictions. So this is the best I can come up with just now. Um, I was up a few nights ago um, getting pictures of the, the Deals Heat, I think it's called. Uh, so I've got good images of that. I'll show you that during, throughout the video. So I've got loads of other compositions that I want to try. So I'm going to try and get them today. I'm just looking currently at one. There's just loads of huge big rocks in this sort of bay with a nice cliff face there. And hopefully the skies stay clear, which they, they pretty much are. It's crystal clear just now. Um, but aye, it's good you can see the Milky Way live on camera. That's what it looks like in, in person, so... Looking forward to it. So I'm going to try loads of different techniques as well. Uh, I'm try trying panoramas as well, and then focus stacking, etc. So I'll show you how we get on with that, because it's quite cool to, you know, show you what I, how I get my images. I've got the 14mm and the 24mm, so I'll switch between them two. So, hopefully we get some good images, so looking forward to it. Okay, yet again I'm rushed for time, so this is going to be another uh, kind of rushed video and I'll just video what I can. I need, I need to invest in another Sony and fast lens just to film these things for the for the videos because this is a nightmare. Try to take the pictures and do a video as well. So I've just quickly done a wee panorama with my 24mm 1.4 of this nice landscape. Hopefully it stitches together. I'm still learning panoramas. I'll show you it. Hold on. As you can see there, there's the far right of the frame. The Milky Way core there. You know. You get the picture there. So hopefully that that stitches together nicely. And uh, focus again. So hopefully that focus uh, that stitches together. Um, if it doesn't, I'm gonna get my 14 millimeter out now and take a wide angle view of it and stack them frames. And hopefully that turns out as well. So always got two backups. If one doesn't work, you've got the other one because it's the worst thing if you go home and nothing works. Oh Jesus! Because then you just feel like you've wasted the night. So I'm gonna get the 14 millimeter out and try that, and hopefully move on to the next location. I've only got another about 40 minutes before the twilight comes, so. I'm going to rush about, so um, bear with me. So what I'm doing just now is taking, well, taking an exposure, obviously, uh, but I'm going to take about six, seven exposures, just like this. ISO 6400, 25 seconds. This is with a 14 millimeter, uh, 2.8. Yep, there's the, there's a single exposure. You can see the Milky Way core there. So I have to take them quick, all at the same time, because I'm going to stack these images, and this will just help reduce the noise. I'm also going to take about two or three dark frames. That'll just help create a nice blacked out sort of canvas for the software to fill up the noise if that makes sense because um, noise is random so if I take more exposures and dark frames it'll fill in the gaps and I'll have a nice clean noise free image of the Milky Way over this awesome landscape so there we go it's out of focus there but I have to take these quickly all at the same time just so when it stacks the stars are not too far away so hopefully this comes out nicely and hopefully I'll show you the result and I'll need to quickly run to the next location before the twilight comes
some application number two as well. Uh, sorry for the black screen. Um, just doing that, taking about seven exposures. There's the picture there. Oh, well you can see you can see the, the Milky Way on the live view. That's how clear it is here. I've never seen the sky so clear here for the Milky Way. Absolutely beautiful. So you can hear the waves absolutely pounding down below. But yeah, taking another seven exposures here. And I've, I'm blown away with the dark skies here. It's just phenomenal. Yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I've never seen the sky so clear here. You can see that Milky Way is so clear to the naked eye. Um, it's unbelievable. So I'm going to get some nice live view picture, uh, videos of that. Because I've never seen the Milky Way that clear before. So I'm just at the final location. I've only managed to get two locations just now. I can, I can start to see twilight coming in now. Um, so I'm just going to quickly rush these locations but I was here a few nights ago getting the deals heat as I said earlier and um, so I've got so I've pretty much got this walk now because there's so many compositions along this walk and um, you have to come a few times to get good pictures because you can only see the Milky Way for a few hours before twilight so you have to make the most so I'm just still taking pictures there we go um, so yeah I can't wait to see the results of these but I'm totally blown away of how dark the skies are and quite right because you're just looking over the, uh, the North Sea aren't you so anyway I'll let this finish and then hopefully well twilight will be around the corner and I'll be able to video a wee bit more but I'm, I can't wait to get, get these on the laptop because this video is so rushed oh, look at that core uh, I'm gonna go on the laptop and I'll show you how I edit the pictures as well um, on Lightroom so I'll probably see you later on when the twilight comes on, but I'm just blown away with these images. I can't wait to get them on the laptop, so I'll finish up now and hopefully get a few more shots. So there you go, look, look at that, so twilight's just approaching over there, which is quite a nice sight actually, and then just about right over me is that Milky Way, look at all the way down to the core there, look how clear them skies are, it's just because it's over the, the North Sea, that, I think that over there, boop, boop, boop. that bit there, I think that's just a, a new oil rig, but look at that, you can see the, the gas lanes, the dust, all the stars in there, all the way up to, you know, up to the top, up to Cassiopeia. Look at that, that's stunning. Along to our growth there in Dundee. I wonder if I can show you the foreground. There's some foreground I've been shooting. And over there. But yeah, that's stunning. Have you ever seen... The Milky Way like that before. That's beautiful. Oh, my camera's about to, uh, my battery's a gold die, so I'm going to change battery. Hold on. Alright, so I just finished my last wee location. Took a wee panorama. So there's the foreground. Oh, focus, focus. There we go. Foreground, middle, middle, and then you can see the core up there. So hopefully that stitches together nicely. Uh, before that, I took it with a wide angle in the 14mm and took a load of exposures with that and there's a dark friend there. Right, so that's that night. That, <coughs> excuse me. That's that night coming to the end. You can see twilight behind me. Um, I'm really excited with the pictures I've got um, from that wee that wee trip. It was a quick rush trip. Only had about an hour and a half because um, I got here a bit late. That was my fault. Um, I did meet a, an, another photographer along here as well. 
I wonder how he's getting on, he's somewhere. Um, I might bump into him again. Um, but yeah, you can see Twilight's came up now. Um, really happy with the images I got. But I, since this video is all rushed, um, I'm going to go back to the laptop and I'll show you how I process the Milky Way pictures because that'll be quite cool because that's that's an important part of photography as well and I enjoy uh, editing my pictures as well, I really do um, so taking the pictures is one thing but editing, processing and editing them is another it just brings out all the, the more detail that the raw file captured so yeah, lovely morning, it's about well four, half four now in the morning really mild, very very mild, I was expecting wind and frost so I've got hand warmers in my boots and in my gloves I didn't need them at all really so, so yeah that's pretty much it for the day I'm glad you got to see the Milky Way live on camera that's one thing I wanted to capture on camera for a video so I've got Orion, I've got some northern lights I've got moon rises, now I've got the Milky Way on camera so now it's just the noctilucent clouds in the summer that that will obviously come um, so yeah, thank you for being with me and watching in the field. You can also see the milk still see the Milky Way. Just a bit of pack up. You can still see the Milky Way. Beautiful.